Hey guys, what's going on? It's Space Cowboy. Welcome back to the channel. So today we're doing the preview between the Dallas Cowboys and the Green Bay Packers. The game will be at AT&T Stadium in Arlington. So this is a huge game. This is the game of the week. This is the one of the games that I circled um, before the season began. And even now, with it upcoming in the next couple days, I mean, it's still a prime time matchup this could easily be the sunday night football game i would i would, i wouldn't mind it being the sunday night football game that's how great this matchup is and more importantly it's extremely uh important for either team to get a win here because it gives them pretty good leverage within their division and in the conference as well so both teams are coming into this game at three and one uh both of these teams uh went uh to start the season three and oh then in week four, they both got handed their first losses of the season. Uh, Green Bay to Philadelphia, you know, as they got punched in the mouth at home. And Dallas got punched in the mouth in New Orleans. So both of these teams have so far had a relatively similar start to their seasons in terms of the records. But if we look at them individually, Dallas has started off hot and then they kind of cooled off in that New Orleans game because they played a relatively tough opponent. And... Then you look at the the Green Bay Packers. Uh, they played a couple tough opponents, and um, but you know, with the exception of the uh, the Broncos. Um, but the big thing is, is that the Packers are starting to kind of get out of that muck they had to start the season off with their offense. You can see that uh, Aaron Rodgers is starting to kind of get into form as uh, again. But the thing that's really holding back the Packers is the lack of their run game. Uh, that um, hasn't been really getting you never really got going uh, for the most part from what I've seen okay um, not only that their defense has been exposed uh, by the Eagles because they gashed them for like 150 plus rushing yards and so if I'm the Cowboys this is a prime game for Ezekiel Elliott to really go off and bounce back now keep in mind Zeke Typically, when he has a bad performance, he usually will he usually bounces back with a good, to, you know, great performance from what I've seen. Um, but the whole thing here is this: the Cowboys on offense have to score fast and often and keep the ball out of Aaron Rodgers' hands. So many times when it came to the, the like the matchups in this situation, um, we've seen the Cowboys like in 2017. They did everything right. You know, you go up early with a you know relatively good lead, and then you just hold on to that lead, run the ball, and try to score some more points. Cowboys got to do it here. They cannot let the Packers get on them early. I'm not saying that the Cowboys are going to blow out the Packers. I'm not saying the Packers are going to blow out the Cowboys. I, I expect this to be a really close game that comes down to the wire. Knowing uh, how we haven't been able to beat Aaron Rodgers for the past, what, a uh, year uh, and a half? Because if you count the playoff game, and they, I know it's two games, but still, usually it's a high-scoring game where the defense is non-existent. Defense has to get to Aaron Rodgers. There is no ifs, ands, or buts about it. We have to be able to get to Aaron Rodgers and get him out of rhythm. What you got to do is you have to get them into third, second, and long situations and let them try to get those first downs and waste time for their sake. Okay, that's the biggest thing the Cowboys have to focus on. Not only that, keep the ball out of his hands, run on offense more so, run the ball, and ensure that you're getting touchdowns. Because we saw... Now, another thing I should mention in terms of the injury report is that uh, for the Packers, it doesn't look like Devontae Adams will play. Now, you might be asking Space, why are you singling out Devontae Adams? Because he is one of the bigger weapons that Aaron Rodgers has to work with. Aaron Rodgers can still beat you without him, but it makes it a bunch more difficult for the Packers to really generate offense, especially if their running game isn't going. If you watched that game against the Eagles, once Devontae Adams went out, the Packers' offense looked really inefficient. Now, we could say, well, they were on the goal line, and they should have scored at least two touchdowns, 
because you know the whatever but the point is is that from what i'm getting at the packers and who knows it most likely will change this week for some reason they do not want to run the ball i think it's because you know if i remember correctly with that game philadelphia once they kind of got the lead the Packers just try to kept throwing to get back into it. And yeah, Aaron Rodgers is one of those quarterbacks where you can lean on and have him throw like 50 to 60 times a game. But, um, you know, that can only save you so many times. And I think that this is going to be a much different outcome than people think. I see a lot of people taking Green Bay because, you know, the Aaron Rodgers has always had uh, the Dallas Cowboys number, um, you know, but... I think it's just the ball bouncing their way for the most part. And not saying like it's refs or anything, but it's just like they usually had, you know, it came down to the wire. Dallas had chances, but, you know, they got the job done just because the ball happened to bounce their way certain times. That I will say. And they're a good team. I'm not going to sit here and say they're a bad team. No. But the Cowboys have the ability to really cement themselves as a contender with a win here. Uh, because... People are viewing Green Bay as one of those top teams in the NFC. And not only that, keep in mind that um, there's only one team in the NFC that has no uh, win or no losses, excuse me. And that's um, the 49ers. And if the 49ers lose, uh, that would be huge because then as long as Dallas is keeping pace and they're winning their games, I think that that can result in some good things, especially if they can just, you know, if, if the pack begins kind of coming back, to where, um, you know, that being the rest of the NFC teams, and they're coming back to the, um, oh, so everyone has one loss. Dallas isn't losing any ground. And you might be saying, Space, isn't that too early to talk about that? No, because this is where you got to start stacking wins against good teams. Because if Green Bay makes the playoffs, you might have end, you end up having a situation to where seeding comes into effect. So, now can I see, uh, now this is going to be a tough game, like I mentioned. Uh, look, I'm not expecting the, um the Cowboys to blow out Green Bay at home if they do awesome if they don't whatever but I'm expecting them to win this game you know listen your defense has to get something you know they they've been getting some sacks now you see Robert Quinn starting to get more acclimated what I'm worried about and I'm telling you here right now that defensive line has to plug up the run as best as possible now, oh, Space, what are you talking about? They held Alvin Kamara last week. No, that's not what I'm getting at. What I'm getting at is stop them from getting key runs to set them up in, you know, shorter field positions to work with. You know, like, don't let them get, you know, a, a good run here and there, especially late in the game if hypothetically you're down or it's tied. Because guess what? They'll just run the clock. That's exactly what the Saints did. They played keep away. Do not let Green Bay play keep away with you. Because trust me, that's the last thing you want to do. Because if you keep it close, and you give Aaron Rodgers the ball last, he can, he's going to do something with it. We all know that's what's going to happen if that's the case. But at the same time, I'm not going to sit here and be pessimistic and say that the Cowboys won't win this game. I think Dallas is going to win this game by around by probably a field goal or maybe four points. Because I think what will happen is that um, both the teams will throw jabs at one another they'll score back and forth and then i think that it's going to come down to one of those final drives and i think that um if it's tied i would if i if it's tied you know <laughs> better hold you know hope to god that the cowboys have the ball and they're driving to win the game and hey look um another one final thing i will tell you about this game is that um we have to understand that as a team we have to make sure that everything you know we, we don't have any real issues you know so what do i mean by that uh like i alluded to previously if the packers develop a running game that you know with this game considering how poor they've been with running the ball we're gonna have issues because now that's a problem with the defensive line now we can we you can attribute that to tyrone crawford not being there you can attribute that to uh, antoine woods being there but that's still no excuse you still have to stop that Another thing is that if this offense does not get back into rhythm how it was in the first three games of the season and they start reverting back to previous ways, we're going to have issues there. You know, I'm not trying to hit the panic button, but I will tell you this. If we have the same results happen over the next couple weeks, based on what we saw in the New Orleans games, we're going to have some issues. So, I think we'll be fine. 
I think that Dallas will take care of business. Best of luck to Green Bay. I know you guys have a great team, uh, and they're doing their thing as well. But it's you know, it's just when typically how I go with picking games is that if the um, if it's too close to call, I typically go with the home team. So um, yeah. So with that being said, guys, uh, I want to see what you guys feel about this game in the comment section. What do you think the score might be? Uh, what do you think will happen? Um, do you think that we have to watch out for anything? Feel free to leave that in the comment section below. If you haven't already, hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I will be seeing you guys later. Alright guys, peace out. Bye-bye. I used to live in sin cities like Bruce Willis. But I'm Jackie Chan, karate chopping. I'm still kicking. I used to be chopped and screwed. I'm low flipping. Now I'm nice. Mike Jordan, so who's pipping? I'm running, man. You the running man. You still slipping. I hit records. You swinging and still...